right guys jd here welcome back to the we maxi channel if you're new please do smash that like button share and subscribe and if you're an avid fan of the channel keep on doing that great work by sharing the contents far and wide we really and truly appreciate it so today we are going to be detailing part one of the united states versus nigeria it ended four goals to nil we are going to look at the weaknesses and the strengths of both teams and what we can expect for the teams in the future anyways let me flip over to the detailing screen just to show you what really took place all right all right anyways we, let me start here as you can see um four goes to nil for united states united states coming in in, in this one as the best team in the world and obviously we're going to show you most of what they have actually done over time to just show you that they are a, a seriously quality team as you can see here they have played in nigeria one four nil they defeated canada which ranked always from fifth to tenth in the world so that's a good victory for them and we had actually covered that um tournament extensively which is the women's championship from the Concacaf region so they defeated costa rica um three um nil costa rica will be in the at to go to the world cup as well showcasing that they are defeating world cup bound teams and they are doing it with pretty much ease they played mexico finished that one one nil because they are they were already qualified because they came out of the group of that with 80 themselves mexico and um jamaica those are the four teams in that group so they are they were already qualified that's the reason why i thought that this game went this close all right and then they faced up against jamaica which qualified um alongside them and they gave the jamaica five nil which that is my um team and then over the flip hand side they played an 80 team um that really posed them all sorts of problems in this game and that's what i've remembered when i actually watched the N nigeria game so anyways guys let me just go back to the conversation right here so sophia smith first goal she got i thought that it was concentration problem right there for nigeria that is something that they desperately have to work on concentration problem i saw it in the under 20s world cup and i'm seeing it here so maybe that's something you have to work on obviously when you reach the high echelon of football um you're going to see uh, most of your problems exposed and you're at the highest echelon of football which is the united states team and they got exposed there smith um finished that one in the 40 minute as you can see there um the second goal they came in for um lindsay oran there it was a quick quick release after running into traffic there and it was a slight deflection i think if you watch it back and you don't see the deflection it's okay but a quick release there part put it in the part of um oran oran cut inside and then slot it home to the left um low post there which was a good finish on the night to make it two nil um right after that um they got the third with a wonderful cross from the left hand side for a tap in to make the second one for smith which would be the 45th minute and then in the final goal it was the 52nd minute when um alex morgan took the penalty all right so that's four goals there the good things that i've saw from um nigeria as i as i've said before we are going to pick out the good and the bad things we said concentration problem that that's definitely a problem for them all right and um what i've seen what i saw as positive um they won the ball in midfield back from the united states which is always good very always good because i saw ed did it to them um and i saw that nigeria did the same to them so the energy level from the nigerians um is very good but the concentration and the organization might be slightly a problem for them so they need to work on those things to improve um then the second sec, second thing i would say um ano anomono um she is very very solid her, her size and strength she she did well against the back line of, of united states so if you can just get someone when you take on the ball you can do even better with it so i would say anamono um would be one of the individuals that i said um looks like she can do something agbana um at number four i thought that she won a good amount of balls and push back into mid midfield and then tp in those would be my three players that i keyed in on and said that they did something good in the game so let me know yours all right and the united states side 
this is the same team that we have actually um, saw from the last time and um, they did um, equally as what we expected from them. Robust um, in midfield, quick release and open it wide and try and whip in cross. Pew and Smith is still um, always a nightmare as what they've left in the um, CONCACAF Women's Championship. The same thing they have actually um, done. In midfield now, maybe they can be a little bit more sharper to the first touch in midfield but because um, they have just got back on, on, on the ball um, from since qualifying um, maybe that's why they showed a little bit of rust so I'm not going to rush to blame the um, Americans here I will I will sit back and wait to see what um, they can do um, in the end let me just give you the statistics on this game and then we move on to the additional results them around the world all right yes and keep in mind um, these two teams will be playing again I will give you that information very much shortly but anyway Anyways, these are the statistics as you can see here 14 shots for United States 8 for Nigeria that is very good because a lot of teams don't get shots off from them none at all and as what I've said um, Anum, Anumono um, she was a, a problem with her size there so it do um, get people up closer to her but now they need to target those things for the second second round 9 shots on target for United States there whilst 4 on target for um, um, um nigeria there all right and the position was good from nigeria 43 percent to 57 percent and the pass is completed 432 to uh 342 where they can do some more improvements because i think these are these are the things that you have to do at the highest level um is the passing accuracy 75 percent i would say it has to go up a little bit more um in order to be successful at this um level against united states and the top 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 echelon teams as you can see 84 percent there so that means it's working your legs always and I think that is a key when it comes down to ladies um, football all right so we are gonna just pull up the next game the next game as you can see here the next game will be on Wednesday September um, for me uh, Wednesday September 7th um, at 12 o'clock yes but um for you i think it's going to be Nigeria time should actually be what 10 o'clock 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock i will put the exact um reading below in the description so you will get it all right so don't worry yourself yes and then we have to move on to um the games then that nigeria played um before so nigeria played zambia in the, the uh, women's cup of nation so these are the teams that you had to play uh, morocco as you can see here um cameroon um burundi um botswana and south africa here but they played um canada two times in which they actually drew with canada 2-2 two -two and lost to canada so that was a good test i would advise them to try and get more um solid games against like england and all of those better teams because that's the teams that that can improve you overall other results before we go anywhere mexico lost to new zealand 1-0 um, australia um, lost to canada 1-0 korea defeated jamaica 1-0 which we watched that one and then we just talked about the united states result and colombia defeated costa rica um one goals to nil so that's everything you can get on the ladies football so make sure to join us on our path of covering all of these games um in the future um live streams will be set and you know exactly what we are going to be doing so thanks very much guys for the continuous support make sure to smash the like button share and also subscribe and you can leave in the comment section what's your thoughts on all of the topics and also if you want me to cover anything you can always highlight it in the comment section we will definitely check it out for you peace out see you in the next one